Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by ExcelLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to manage and track your stock portfolio in Excel. And then once you have it all set up, you'll be able to click one button and refresh the pricing right off the internet. Today's question comes from Xander in Omaha, Nebraska, one of my gold members. Xander says, a friend of mine told me you can get current stock prices in Excel automatically. Can you show me how to do that? Well, yes, Xander, I'd be happy to show you how to do that. Now, what I'm going to show you right now only works for people who have a Microsoft 365 subscription. If you've got a different version of Excel, there is a way you can do it. I cover it in my Excel Beginner 5 class. I'll put a link down below in the links section. But for the rest of you who've got Excel 365, let me show you how to do it. Okay, here I am inside of Excel, and let's go ahead and type in the column header. This will be the uh, stock name, and I'll just type in a couple of stocks that I have. Let's go with Microsoft MSFT, and then I've got uh, AMD, and how about Google? And right about now, you can see where Excel pops up that little thingy that says convert the stocks. Don't click on that just yet. All right, let's put another one in. How about NVIDIA, NVDA? Okay, that's, that's good enough for now. All right, so let's select these four stocks here. And I'm going to come up and click on Data. And under Data Types, click on Stocks. I didn't want to click on that little link that popped up because you have to do them one at a time. All right, now this disclaimer comes up, says financial market information is provided as is and is not for professional trading. Per yeah, okay, all right. If you're a professional trader, then you might want to go invest in some better software. For the casual trader like me, I just, you know, a little bit here, a little bit there. This is good enough. All right, it's not real-time, minute-to-minute, like professional traders want. And, uh, you know, if, if it's wrong, you can't you know get in trouble with Microsoft. But it's good enough for the average casual investor. Okay, so I'm going to close that. Get rid of that. All right, let's widen out this column a little bit right there. And you can see Microsoft, AMD, Alphabet, NVIDIA. Make sure these are the right ones. All right, there's the different stock exchanges. Sometimes it comes up with a different, uh, a different stock than the one that you're planning on getting. Okay, so make sure, double check. Microsoft calls this stuff, by the way, rich data types. There's stocks, there's geography, there's a whole bunch of other ones you can get and install too. Now, if you come over here and click on this little building, it says show card. It gives you all the information about that stock, who the company is, their current price, all right, what exchange they're on, ticker symbol, all right, percent changes, previous close, 52 weeks high and low, all this different stuff's in here, okay? Now, let's go ahead and add the price to our sheet. So click on the little thingy right here that says extract price to grid. Click on that, and right there, look at that, the price pops up. Isn't that neat? If you click on that, you'll see it's A2.price. It knows A2 is Microsoft. All right, now just auto-fill this down. And there's the rest of them. Let's widen that out so we can see it all. Okay. That's the current price per share. All right, I'll just put price up top. Okay. Now, what else is interesting? Um, let's do their percent change. All right, so what I'm going to do is click over here again. Hit this little thing right there. Instead of hitting the instead of hitting the little building right there, click on this guy that pops up. All right? And you can see all the different stuff's in here too. Click percent change. You can see all the different stuff. Employees, exchange rates, industry type, all this different stuff. Change percentage. Boom. There it goes. See that? Click and drag it down. And there's your percent change. Now that's all the data that you really need that is supplied over the internet. The rest is information you can supply. For example, how much did you invest? It invested. All right, let's say you initially bought Microsoft and you bought uh, $700 worth. Okay, and how many shares did you get for that? Let's say when you bought it, that was worth uh, 2.57 shares. And that's information you can get from your broker or from your app. I personally use Cash App. All right, you could, you could say, I want to invest 10 bucks, 20 bucks, and it'll tell you, if you go into details there, it'll say how many shares you purchased. You could buy little micro pieces of a share. Okay? So knowing that, now we can know what our value of our stock is. Okay? We now have this many shares, and each share is now valued at 286, right? So the total value of our investment is equal to the shares that we purchased times the price that they're currently worth. And as you can see, 
they've gone up 36 bucks, right? We initially invested 700. So now your profit is very easy to calculate, right? Equals value minus amount invested. And then we can calculate our gain, which is going to be the gain is equal to your profit divided by the amount you invested. All right, and that should be formatted as a percentage. So you're up 5%. Let's increase the decimals there. All right, 5.19%. Okay, see that? Let's put in some other numbers here, right? AMD. Let's say you invested 500 in AMD. And when you bought it, that got you 4.899 shares. Uh, Cash App will give you like eight decimal points. You can type in as many as you want. I usually type in three or four. That's usually close enough. I don't need it to the exact penny. In fact, I'm going to get rid of these pennies in a second here. Okay, now these three things, we can just autofill this down, right? Just like that. And yeah, we got to fill these numbers in. So your value here, we're up 16% on AMD. That's pretty good. Okay, Alphabet, which is Google. Let's say you got uh, 400 invested, and that got you 0 0.153 shares. And then NVIDIA, let's say you got 100 into that. And 100 of that got you 0.5 shares. All right. Now, let's do some formatting here. I'm going to select all this stuff. I'm going to align it all left. I like the format as, as currency. I'm not a big accounting fan, so I go to currency. And then I'm going to drop the decimal points off. So it's just rounded to the nearest dollar. Then I'm going to click on one of these guys, hit the format painter, double click on the format painter so it's sticky, and then go invested, value, and profit. We'll format all of those as the same dollar type. And no, not all my investments came out good. So I've got uh, I got Virgin Galactic SPCE. There it is. Comes right in. See, just type it right below there. Now that Excel sees that you're doing stocks in that column, it'll automatically fill it in, right? And I put 100 into Virgin Galactic. And, uh, oh, wait a minute. That's the price. we got to get the price here. Sorry. Let's drag these down. All right there. There we go. There's the current prices. See? And you can always go to data. And hit refresh, by the way, and it'll go out and refresh. You could watch these little guys change. Watch. I'm recording this now at what 6:35 p.m. So I'm we're outside of uh, we're outside of the market hours. So the but these will change throughout the day. Okay. All right. So invested. What did I invest? I invested 100 bucks, and at the time that bought me 1.89 shares. And you can see yeah, I'm I'm losing money on that one. <laughs> I don't have a lot of money in the stock market, just a little bit, but it's more of like a hobby for me. All right, and let's format this stuff here. Home, format this stuff down here. I'm going to show, in the extended cut for the members, I'm going to show you how to turn this into a table. And one of the benefits of tables is that it carries all the formatting from row to row. You don't have to keep changing formatting and auto-filling down and all that stuff. All right, so some quick calculations on the bottom down here. Let's say uh, the total invested All right, is equal to the sum of what we've got invested right here. Okay, the value of our portfolio is equal to the sum of our value right there, right? Our total profit, now you can either add up this column here or just go equals this minus that. And then your gain is equal to your profit divided by invested. There you go, and then we'll format that as that. So I'm up 5%. And these aren't all my stocks, but it's a small percent. You get, you get it. You see how this works. Maybe add a splash of color on here too, right? Something like that. How's that look? All right. Look good? All right. That's it. That's, that's the basics. That's how you do it. Then throughout the day, you want to check your portfolio, how you're doing, hit the refresh button. And then boom, it'll load right up. And you can either be happy or it'll ruin the rest of your day. <laughs> Want to learn more in the extended cut for members? I will take you through a few more changes, 15 minutes long. We will format this as a table instead of just random cells, which has a lot of benefits. I'll show you how to do some conditional formatting so your winners show up as green, your losers show up as red, and then the yellow for the stuff in between. We'll do some data bars, which are cool looking, and then we'll make a button to refresh the data to go out to the internet and get updated pricing so you don't have to go hunting through the ribbon if you're sitting on the home tab. 
right? Here's the updated sheet, right? Here's the data bars. Those are cool looking, right? Here's the button to refresh the data. Click on that, and then boom, it updates for you. All right, that's all covered in the extended cut for the members. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos. How do you become a member? Click the join button below the video. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks. Silver members and up will get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, live video and chat sessions, and other perks. Gold members get access to download all of the sample spreadsheets that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use and more. Platinum members get access to all the previous perks, plus all of my beginner full courses and one new expert course every week. These are the full-length courses found on my website, and not just for Excel. I also teach Word, Access, Visual Basic, ASP, and lots more. Now, when you do sign up to become a member, I need you to email me and tell me I want more Excel. The vast majority of my videos are from Microsoft Access because that's on my focus for the past few years. However, I'm happy to add more Excel videos if I get more Excel members. So make your voice heard, and I'll make lots more tech help lessons for Excel. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more, and they'll always be free. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments that you have. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon to select all and receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? If you're watching this video on YouTube, just click the Show More link below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other related videos, additional information on the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. If you have not yet tried my free Excel Level 1 course, check it out now. It's over 90 minutes long, and it covers all the basics of using Microsoft Excel. And if you like Level 1, Level 2 is just $1, and it's free for all members of my channel at any level, even supporters. Just email me and let me know you signed up as a member. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my Tech Help page, and you can send me your question there. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by and check out my Excel forum. Be sure to follow my blog, and of course you can find me on Twitter and YouTube. And as always, thanks for learning with ExcelLearningZone.com. I'm Richard Rost. See you next time.